first one, what is tuberculosis? Uh, in short, we call it TB. So tuberculosis, uh, often shortened as TB, is a bacterial infection. So it's a bug, basically, right? That primarily infects the lungs, the organs that we breathe in. Okay. So when someone with TB coughs or sneezes, the bacteria can basically spread through the air. Uh, we call it aerosolization. And it's important to be aware of the symptoms, eh? coughing, sneezing, fever, and so on and so forth. It is also important to get screened uh, if you think you might have TB infection. Okay. So within this particular slide, uh, here are the common symptoms uh, of TB to be aware of. Uh, we have salient features uh, that has been highlighted by the WHO. Uh, Moreover, it's, it's, it's surrounding within the areas of fever and continuous or on and off cough for more than two weeks. Uh, coughing with blood or mucus, uh, with or without chest pain and weight loss. Uh, there are some aspects of night sweats. If you if you think you have uh, frequent uh, dissolving sweating at night, uh, exclusion of the hot weather. Sometimes we get uh, this particular uh, irritation in our body at night. So. Uh, the patients who are having this active TB sometimes uh, exert sweating more over at night. Yeah. So within the complication of this particular disease, uh, if left untreated, it can be disastrous, not just because of the health uh, integrity, but also within the public and all the ones we love uh, within our foresight and within our current sites. So within this include the permanent damage of the lungs, right? So the infection can spread to any parts of the body. I've mentioned that TB is primarily caused and exits its way into the lungs, but it can spread anywhere in the body. You name it, the skin, the body, the brain, the kidneys, even any other subordinate organs that we do not know of. So there are only a few named uh, uh, organs that uh, it does not infect, but uh, most of the, most TB can infect any part of, of the body, but it primarily affects the lungs. So we are talking about the complications here. So when TB is left untreated, it can go disastrous towards a particular organ, or it can spread out to other organs, right? So it is important to screen for TB screening, which means we have to get ourselves enrolled for active signs and symptoms checking, right? So early detection is key, right? Number one. And the treatment of TB are crucial. Uh, basically, this the screening, the screening of, of symptoms and signs identify the TB cases. And this will basically prevent the spread of the infection. Okay? So when you get well, the other, the, the ones that you, you live by, you work with, uh, you spend the nights with, uh, also should be fine as well, not spreading the infections, right? So people at higher risk of TB should especially be vigilant about getting screened, right? Who are these people that is at high risk, right? So these people includes the symptoms that I've mentioned. I, uh, I can mention it again. It's uh, cough and fever for more than two weeks, having night sweats, having loss of weight, coughing, uh, blood or, or mucus, uh, having uh, uh, sometimes having this... Uh, uh, lethargic uh, feeling, uh, feeling of, of, of uh, very, very tired all the time throughout the day for absolutely no reasons at all, right? Other than the symptoms I've mentioned is being in close contact with someone who has TB. For example, someone we know or we spend time most of our time with throughout the day 
and we happen to know that this particular person is infected with TB tuberculosis. So that will deem us as a contact of that person. It basically is COVID all over again. Uh, we have index cases, the primary, the primary patient that have TB, and we have contact cases, those who surround themselves and live near the, the, the first contact, the primary contact, right? And the last one is living with HIV. So people who are living with HIV or any immunocompromised state, which means their level of defenses is quite low. So they are more prone to get tuberculosis and any other disease for that matter. But TB is one of the risk factors within this set of people, right? So I would like to emphasize on screening here, but in terms of our discussion today, the screening, is it free? How is it goes with strategies? How is it goes with non-nationals? Uh, and how is it with uh, UN card holders, UNHCR card holders? Well, that's good news. Um, within the Ministry of Health, TB screening is free within the diagnosis, treatment in all government hospitals and all government clinics available. Okay, This is a fantastic program that uh, can help refugees for accessing the care that they should and prefer to need. Okay, But however, it's important here uh, to understand that the free treatment applies only after a diagnosis of TB is confirmed. Right? Uh, which means, uh, here how the refugee can get free service, right? In terms of uh, UNHCR card holder, for example, okay? They do not know what do they have infected with, but they have they have presented with few symptoms, right? right? Like, for example, cough and fever. So within the non-nationals and refugees for this particular scenario, all refugees of under UNHCR or UNHCR card holder will be having eligible of 50% discount rate on pre-diagnosis and investigation and treatment. So this helps make TB screening more affordable before a diagnosis is confirmed later on. But if you have been chosen or been deemed as a close contact with someone who is diagnosed with TB, so it is crucial to mention here during screening, the healthcare worker will identify you as a potential contact case and will offer you a 10C1 a fee, a free screening form. Okay. So for example, if someone who has TB and you are the close contact, when the investigation of identifying contact who is who, what is what, how is how, they will offer you a form. So that form will be making you eligible for free screening, right? Okay, that's for contact. So in terms of case, if you present yourself with the symptoms I've mentioned and go to any facilities, you are deemed for 50% discount rate with UNHCR refugee card holder. After a diagnosis, a diagnosis is made that you have TB, then the other pieces will fall together to help you. You are free to get full service treatment in a clause at the first uh, treatment regime. Okay, so basic regime, uh, we have uh, the basic outline of management of TB. So TB is quite tricky. Uh, because it, uh, it, it involves a few drugs, a few, a few medications that last for quite a long time, a minimum of six months, preferably, right? It can stretch more than six months, up to two years. So uh, it will be quite expensive if one to, were to go to a private hospital or private setting. So any private setting, whether you are a national or non-national, it will follow the private 
uh, price of uh, the, the, the sets of, of, of price and medication and so on and so forth, right? So the, the thing here that is important is that uh, compliance. Okay, compliance is what we call uh, dedication towards eating the medication, eating the, the pills. So sometimes if we have cough and cold all the time, uh, we'll be given some Panadol, uh, some cough medication syrup, and sometimes, more overly, we will get antibiotics. So the antibiotics sometimes will last three to five days uh, as an outpatient. So five days, five days is, 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 is a good, good time for our dedicated lives. Huh? Okay? But for TB, unfortunately, um, we haven't much progress throughout the years, throughout the decades. We are left still with a minimum of six months for your dedication. So without dedication to eat these pills every day or every month throughout the regime, there will be non-compliance. There will be a defaulting episodes. So let me share a real life scenario, right? So just imagine a middle-aged um, non-national woman. Let's just say the, the woman is from uh, nearby Asia countries. Who is diagnosed with TB uh, for the past two years, right? So non-national came in Malaysia and she got as a UNHCR card holder. So initially, she received excellent care in our government clinics and government hospitals, and with her treatment covered entirely for free. It's very good, but due to frequent absentees uh, from a medical appointments, which means she does not come she does not come to the, the clinic for for her uh, tca for her date to come clinics right and not taking her medication as prescribed as she should uh, eat them um this will ex uh, the, the the disease will evolve into what we call a drug resistant form uh, we call it uh, drug resistant tb drtb so this is a different way of we telling that the bug has mutated or the bug has grown stronger. So you will need more or high level other types of medications to fight this particular bug. So back to the scenario, this particular patient, uh, initially in her initial treatment phase, uh, she compl the compliance was very good. And I stress again that compliance is key here. Taking medication as instructed would give her the best chance to get a full recovery with a free treatment. But unfortunately, this is a real case, by the way, her non-compliance resulted in a free treatment regime becoming ineffective. So the free regime is not working. Yeah, right? So the situation highlights the consequences of um, not following treatment plans. So due, due to this uh, drug resistant TB, she is now requiring a different and more expensive treatment regime. And that's not covered for free. So overall, this creates a significant financial burden for the patient, right? So here we have UNHCR. And they play a vital role in supporting our refugees in terms of uh, facing these uh, financial constraints related to healthcare. However, with resources are there, they are quite finite, they are limited, right? So in cases like this, one demonstrates the importance of treatment compliance, your dedication to take and commit to taking this medication, to eat these pills. Not only does it improve your chance of recovering, but it also avoids the high cost associated with drug resistant TB. So basically, if the bug gets stronger, you will need other type of medication, which is not fully covered or not covered at all by um, by the law. So and and you and HCR would not be able to fully help you in terms of this of uh, these financial constraints. So within the community involved combating this TB, um, eliminating TB 
uh, requires community effort, right? So here's how the refugee communities can play a role uh, within PD. Number one, just spread the awareness, right? Talk to your friends and family. Talk to your uh, your spouses, your your uh, your your friends or foes, your 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 contacts, your within the, your community, and get the importance. Stress the importance of getting screen. Move forward and declare yourself that you are here. You are having the symptoms, or hey, I'm a close contact of uh, this particular friend or family that has TB. That's number one. Number two, encourage screening. I want everyone here to acknowledge the symptoms and encourage everyone that has the symptoms to seek medical attention and get screened for TB again. And the support, last, last but not least, is the support for TB. You and HCR offer uh, uh, unrelatable and, and very, very good support for, for our refugees, not just, it, they, they, they stretch out beyond the finance aspects. Uh, in terms of support, please offer support to the undergoing patients with TB. As I mentioned, it's very long treatment, very, very long journey. So this can include them helping to remember get to get their medication, to take their medication, remembering and urgently ask them for their status and for their conditions and, and getting them to attend the medical appointment, not just taking the medication themselves because we are not there every time. We are healthcare, doctors, staff nurse are not always there with you by your side at home, at your workplace, uh, whether it's uh, it's uh, whether yourself is, is within your family members or outside the family members. So we need support from the TB patient, right? 